Sports fans, welcome to ISN. Thank you for tuning in for your insane sports news. This week has been full of pointless games that we know all of you washed up sports fans and fat sports dads are dying to see. We have a few uh, reports from yesterday's water polo match. The Big Sandy River Rats got their first one of the season yesterday as they faced off against the Tudor Key Tadpoles. The Tadpoles could not compete due to the death of their paraplegic mascot. And on to bigger news. Last night, the Blaine Bandits competed in the first ever KHAA tournament. For all of you who are not new to this organization, the Kentucky Handicap Athletic Association hosted their Final Four last night at the Eric C. Condome in Betsy Lane. The Thialka Thunder faced off against the one-man show, aka Mark Norton. You can see here, not a lot of skill or talent. Team's trying to work the pick and roll right here. This is just embarrassing. Oh, what, what is this? What is this? Is, is he even coming close even, to the shot? No, he's blind. No, the ball he's... out of bounds. Turnover to the one-man show. <sighs> here you can see one of the men from the Thunder. Poor blind man. Doesn't even know where his garden. Doesn't even know where the ball is. Not only is he blind, he's stupid. Look at him running around. Even after the basket's made, I mean... Well, you've got the one-man show coming in and chastising the poor guy. I mean, this is a real shame. Excuse my laughter, but this this guy they're playing, he is just he is just a character. We all know about his past. Oh, yes, we do. Mark Norton. Oh, boom, shot clock, and one. And here you see an inbounds play from the Thunder. Um, actually, one of their only baskets of the game. Uh, actually, whoa, whoa, it was their... It was the only basket. The only basket, I'm sorry. But you do see a lot of confusion here. and Yeah, well, it's great, the score, but here's the reason why. Look over here to the left of your screen. Mark Norton is over here hitting up this young chick. Uh, she does not look happy. Yeah, well, I mean... You do see a smile on her face, I guess. I represent the entire ISN News Network to bring you this sad news. There's been a death in Johnson County. Three Point Man, aka Candy Cane, recently passed away while playing basketball. Rained down 17 threes in a pickup game, then had cardiac arrest. We would like to take a moment of silence. I'm sure you've heard about the buzz around Paintsville. Yes, parkour. Mm. Yes, parkour. Parkour or free running has hit the streets of Paintsville and is becoming a huge success. One of the only local teams around here, the Six Street Saints, mm. are being one of the most highly evaluated teams of Paintsville. You should probably check in at your local Six Street or Ride Aid for news about joining. Yes, the application fee is one dime back. Now on to our special portion of the show where we get down and dirty and personal. Time to send it off to David. David, what you got? Hi all you divorce fathers and sexual offenders. Let's take a break from ISN and get to really know D. Wayne Wade Skaggs. As he joins us today on The Decision. Here he is joining us today. Yo, Dwayne, do you have any regrets this year selling out your own team? No, not really. I did get a bunch of new people that I will never forget. I usually just hung out with friends or girls in between school and practice. I made a lot of memories. So the whole world is wondering, where are you going now? It's tough to leave Flat Gap, but uh, I, I will be taking my talents to a, a Bible college. You know, I ask myself, is Wade's head getting too big? Am I really good enough to play in a Bible college? But was Michael Jordan good enough to play in the NBA? The obvious answer is yes. So, Dwayne, 
How do you feel about backstabbing another human being? You know, I just don't really consider myself a backstabber, but I guess uh, anybody, uh, anybody who crosses me gets what they deserve. Well, you heard it first. Here from D-Wade. You really are a narcissistic jerk. And good luck with your decision. Thank you. Back to you, ISN. Wow. Shaw can leave his homeland. Again! You know, I always thought EKU was the front runner. Yeah, the, the kid's a real fiery, passionate guy. On and off the basketball court. More off the basketball court, if you know what I mean. Oh, oh well. After the tearing down of the blue ribbons around town. <laughs> professional. Professional. <laughs> Faith Runners held their annual race. I bet everyone of you are wondering who was the winner? Well, no one actually knows, but the true winner was Running Man. He came out of shocking fashion, like he normally does, running around town and won the race. Oh, dude, the, the guy in the yellow shirt that runs around town? Yes, yes, Running Man. I got some crazy wild stories about him. After the show, after the show. But, you want to talk about it? After the show. Yeah, of course. Well, friend, this wraps it up. Thank you for tuning in to ISN for your insane sports news. We'll catch you next time. Mark Norton. Reckless driver. Infamous thief. Apparent monkey lover. And overall, evil person. This man must be stopped. Dude, I tell you, that is the hottest girl I've ever seen. I know she was young, but... Dude, that was one hot babe. Those little donuts we had earlier, too. Dude, those donuts were so amazing. Yeah, it is, man. It's, I love the life of a cop. Nothing ever happened. Adams, Central BCC. Multiple SWAT units responding code 3 to CP at 127 in Adelaide. Barricade situation.